Hello guys, today I will tell you the summary of Burnt Shadows by Kamila Shamsi. I will try to explain it in a very simple word so that each and everyone can easily understand it. It's summary. Because it is very difficult for the new student to understand the entire story without going through a specific text. So it is a an effort to explain a summary of burnt shadows in a very simple word. Let's start the summary of burnt shadows by Kamila Shamsi. This novel is an historical novel. You know, historical means based on a history events. There are lots of history events say, which we see in this novel it includes the story of 60 years in five different countries you will see a total 60 years the span of control of 60 years which revolves around five different countries where this novel is going to be happened this novel is divided into four major sections as i told you i will try to explain it in a very simple and a short language so you can understand the novel is divided into four major sections. If you don't have much time and you want to know uh, the story of this novel, then you can just study and listening by this uh, first slide. You will be able to explain what is in, in, in the novel Burnt Shadow. So here you know it is historical novel based on historical events includes for 60 years in five different countries the novel is divided into four major sections the first section is start at japan japan nagasaki august 6 1945 when america dropped atomic bombs there first section you see in 1945 second section takes place at delhi British India in 1947, just before the independence. Third section takes place in Karachi, Pakistan, 1982. And fourth and last section of the novel takes place in New York immediately after 9-11 attack 2011. So here you see total span of control is, time span is 60 years and four major events happened in this novel. Next, I will try to explain each and every section in a very simple and a sh in a short time of so that everyone can easily understand the story of this novel. First section, as I already told, is in Japan, Nagasaki, August 6, 1945. For MCQs, uh, the uh, dates are important, so you have to learn uh, when the first section is happened and the second, third, fourth, you can go through. this. Simply you can understand the fourth part, fourth part of the novel. First part, Conrad Weiss, who is a German working as a translator in Japan. Japan, Conrad Weiss is a German who is working as a translator in Japan. He proposes Hiroko Tanaka. Hiroko Tanaka is the protagonist of our novel, who is a young citizen of Japan and she loves to make new friends. As she is young and attractive, so she also loves to make new friends. Hiroko accepts the proposal of Conrad. Shortly after her acceptance, the air raid sirens warns everyone to take shelter as U.S. drops atomic bomb on the city. As I already told that this section happened when America dropped atomic bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You, I think you, all of you have aware from this event. So this is the event where when atomic bomb was dropped by America. Conrad moves slowly and killed in the atomic bomb blast. Conrad was moving slowly and he was affected with the dummy bomb and was uh, eventually killed on the spot. Now, Hiroka, due to the death of Conrad Weiss, who was her lover, 
she was much disappointed and she decided to visit the sister of conrad ilse who is living with her english husband jacob whose complete name is jacob burton who is living in delhi india now here the first section ended and then the next section proceeded in delhi india part 2 delhi british india in 1947 here one thing i want to clear why we have written delhi british india because uh, this is the time span where india is not a separate uh, country and pakistan and india are both the part of each other so this is the event before independence so that's why we have written delhi british india on the visit of hiroko tanaka to ilsi the husband of elsa is not happy because of her uh, um, her because she was a japanese woman so uh, jacob was not allowing hiroko tanaka so he is not reluctant to offer her stay however elsi gives her warm welcome elsi why elsi give her warm welcome because she was the lover of her brother conrad now jacob has a legal assistant named sajjad ashraf here we have another character whose name is sajjad ashraf hiroko falls in love with sajjad ashraf this is a naturally why she falls in love with sajjad ahmed ashraf you can say that this is a natural phenomena that a person who is in grief he he is in a need to find someone who can solace him or her so the same case happened with the hiroko tanaka and she eventually fall falls in love with sajjad ashraf sajjad and hiroko leave delhi eloping to istanbul to get married as the relatives of sajjad not allow him to marry with a japanese girl now you can say the cultural clash or a here you can see the cultural clash cultural clash because he, he sajjad ashraf was belong to muslim community and hiroko tanaka was japanese so both uh, the family of sajjad was not allowing a japanese girls to to marry with the sajjad ashraf and religion can also be a part of this you can say that during this partition occurs and when they attempts to return they are barred from returning to delhi and now uh, when they elope to istanbul in this uh, time the partition occurs when pakistan and india become the separate countries so uh, sajjad ashraf wanted to come back but because of the majority was settled in pakistan and sajjad was belong to muslim community so he was not allowed to return to india and he was forced to return to pakistan and hence they started to live in karachi here our second section ended as i told the third section will be in karachi so the next part 3 is karachi pakistan 1982 1982 now you can see that how much time has been spent i will explain in the next slide now it has been 35 years of marriage of sajjad and hiroko 35 years after the marriage of sajjad and hiroko and sajjad has abandoned his love passion as we discussed previously the sajjad is a legal assistant to jacob so now he has left did uh, he has abandoned his love passion because he has changed his homeland and now he is residing in a pakistan so there is a completely environment change environment before independent and after independent you see lots of difference and a different environment uh, in perspective of the colonialism post colonialism and pre colonialism you can easily give the example of this novel because pre colonialism you can explain the the events of before independence when hiroko tanaka and sajjad was living and uh, colonialism you can say 
British India was colonizing over India. So that was the period of colonization. And after pre-colonization or a pre-colonialism, you can explain the life of Sajjad and Hiroko living in Pakistan, Karachi. As you know, post-colonialism is referred towards the period after colonialism. So here we can see also the post-colonialism, colonial aspects, colonial aspect, pre-colonial aspect. You can all you can find all things in this single novel because we have sixty years of a time span. Now they have sixteen years old son named Raza. Raza is the son of both Sajjad and Hiroko. He is good of studies but have stress issues. Now you can see a child who is facing stress issues because. You can say that this all also might be the uh, uh, is results of um, after independence, the circumstances prevailing there and uh, the issues uh, which were facing by the Pakistanis and uh, different you, you can see in Ice Candy Man, if you have studied, you see the different issues faced by the Muslim communities living in Pakistan and the India's they have facing lots of the difficulties because they were originally residing in India and after independence they have to move they have to migrate from their birth homeland or their real homeland to another country so because of that they are facing lots of issues uh, you may say in literature diaspora Diaspora is a forceful migration from a birthplace to another city. Now, Raza is good at studies but have stress issues. I was explaining stress issues. Which prevents him from a passing important national test. So he was unable to complete his further studies and unable to compete in a competition levels. He makes an Afghani friend Abdullah. He has a friend who belongs to Afghanistan named Abdullah who persuades him going to Afghan training camp because of that time Russian war Russia was fighting against Afghanistan. Here is another historical event you can uh, give the example that is reference Russia versus Afghanistan they were fighting against each other. So as we have discussed in the very first line that this is the historical novel so you can also see the historical humans happening in the novel Raza accept the offer and they go to training camp and Raza is unable to come back from the camp because he was not allowed to come back he was not able to uh, because of that you know the restrictions by the army they were not allowed to person to go back to his or her city country because of the secrecy issues so Raza was not able to come back to his homeland the leader of the training camp are suspicious of Raza's affiliation with the American Harry Burton you, you know uh, Hiroko Tanaka was Japanese and uh, he has a relationship with uh, Ilsi and uh, her husband. So they are continuously visiting Sajjad and Hiroko Tanaka. So Raza was also belongs to Sajjad and Hiroko Tanaka. So the leader of training camp. Here you can see uh, the intelligence of the intelligence forces. They keep an eye of a person who is uh, having training with them. And they know each and everything about his family also. Here we see the positive part of the, uh, the intelligence agencies. That they know who is visiting the company Raza's house. So they suspected Raza's affiliation with the American Harry Burton. The son of Jacob and Elsie Harry Burton. Who often visit Raza's family.
because they were relative so oh, he wasted of an raza family now sajjad attempts to find raza we see that raza has uh, uh, joined the training camp in afghanistan uh, without telling his parents so uh, sajjad is trying to find raza by searching cons- constantly in fish market there was a fish market where raza used to go mostly and uh, because of that sajjad tried to find him there at fish market a man is also suspicious of sajjad connection through the american and shoots and kills sajjad shortly before raza returns home ab yahan pe dekhiye na you can see fish market sajjad is also suspected by a person who belongs to another company so he was shooted and killed very shortly and after short raza returns home you can see that there is a, a killing you can say target killing you may say that target killing was going on because sajjad was uh, killed or murdered because of his suspicious because of his uh, belonging to muslim community the third here the third part section of the novel ended uh, as far as i know this is a very long uh, um, sure long novels and it is unable for me to explain it in a single video and i know that people used to uh, view watch and uh, listen a short video so inshallah i will try to explain it in the rest of the part in the fourth in the next coming video so please thank you like and subscribe if you have liked my video uh, so that i may proceed further and try to explain the more and more things in a very simplest way so that everyone can easily achieve his or her goal thank you so much allah hafiz